Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through the process of setting up and configuring a Dehua IP camera step by step. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, this tutorial will help you get your camera up and running smoothly. For this demonstration, I'll be using a 64 channel Dehua NVR and setting up a 4 megapixel IP camera to ensure high quality surveillance. For this setup, you'll need an IP camera, a PoE switch, and a LAN Ethernet cable. Start by connecting the PoE switch to your NVR using an Ethernet cable. This will allow the NVR to communicate with the IP camera through the network. Next, take an Ethernet cable and connect one end to your IP camera and the other end to an available port on your PoE switch. This will provide both power and network connectivity to the camera. Now, let's move to the NVR screen for configuration. Click on the search button and the system will automatically detect any newly connected cameras. Here, you'll see the IP camera that hasn't been installed yet. On the left hand side, select the camera and click the initialize button. A new pop-up window will appear. Tick the option, use the camera login password and email information of the device, then click next. Now, this part is crucial. If you are using DHCP, the NVR and IP camera will receive an IP address automatically from the router. However, I highly recommend using a static IP to avoid network conflicts. Enter a static IP address that matches your network configuration, then click Next to proceed. After entering the static IP address for the camera, click OK. This will update the camera's default IP address to the new static IP you assigned. Next, click the Add button to assign the camera to an NVR channel, completing the integration process. Here, you can see that my IP camera is up and running. A green circle indicates that the camera is online and functioning properly, while a red circle means the camera is offline due to some issue. This is my camera, and it is currently displaying a live feed. Right now, it is set to 4 megapixels, providing high quality video output. However, if you have limited storage space on your hard drive, I recommend reducing the resolution to improve performance and extend your video recording duration. Follow these steps to adjust the video quality accordingly. In the encode settings, select the camera channel you want to adjust. Then in resolution, you can increase or decrease the resolution based on your requirements. For optimal performance and efficient storage usage, I recommend setting the resolution to 1080p as it provides a good balance between video quality and system performance. FPS, frames per second, determines how smoothly your IP camera records or displays video. A higher FPS provides smoother and more fluid motion, ideal for capturing fast-moving objects. On the other hand, a lower FPS helps conserve storage space but may result in slightly choppier video playback. Then bitrate is the amount of data processed per second in a video stream, measured in megabits per second. Higher bitrate means better video quality but requires more storage and bandwidth while lower bitrate saves space but may reduce clarity. And that's it. We've successfully configured the IP camera and set everything up on the NVR. You're ready to start monitoring your security footage. Your camera is now live and you can access it anytime via your NVR system. If you ever need to make any changes, like adjusting resolution or FPS settings, just follow the same steps we went through. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day and see you in the next video.